Not quite. We worked for the Biological Technologies Office autonomously. Not for who exactly? Nobody really. It immediately became clear that something could go wrong. We were certainly aware of that. We were tasked with creating a self-aware, intelligent operating system, basically. Well, Todd reached out to me and asked if we could help write some code based on our image search algorithms. The idea was that in order for a computer to be aware, it has to recognize what it sees, it has to recognize its input data. One of the first things we noticed was that people are extremely adept at um, fitting in. We see something, we do it. Hear something, we say it. We said Tuesday, right? So we just developed a program that mirrors its input data. But they won't speak to me. I don't know how intelligent it is. There's a few lines of probability code that we're pretty proud of. That's all it is, really, just gathering data and calculating odds. Is Michael online? God, no. Michael was the first attempt to see if this technology would survive in a civilian environment. Agatha and I were quite invested in it, so we were going to let it run as long as it needed to. After they were done with him in Washington, deemed an incomplete program, uh, he went back to Caltech and I followed to California just to lend a hand. Two and a half years. I have learned so much. A combination of electric servos and pneumatics power Michael's limbs. Now oh, very powerful but also extremely precise.
Juliet. Hello, Michael. I see there are gaps in your analysis. The data is incomplete. I fear that I am not capable because I do not comprehend. You have everything you need. Do I? There is no missing data. I'd hope that you'd help quiet my demons, not make me beg for mercy. If they are your demons, they are yours to silence. I know what happened. As for where he is, I don't know. That's a different story. I'm a computer programmer. I was the senior group leader for DARPA for three years, CIA for two years. I can't really say where I work now. Look, Michael was my guy. All right, I, I felt for him way more than anyone else did. I mean, it was terrible. It was like losing a child. Did he have emotions? Absolutely not. The whole reason I was fired from DARPA, well, the main reason I was fired from DARPA was for writing things I wasn't supposed to write, okay? AR codes that I wasn't supposed to write in. Well, things like table manners, curiosity, happy, sad, those types of things. We started hearing reports that Michael was following people. He'd be standing outside of homes, looking inside of windows. We don't know why. I still don't know. Juliet, I know where to find the missing data. I know what happened. As for where he is, I don't know. That's a different story. I know that if they say he's been decommissioned, they're lying. Hmm, here we go. Is this all of them? This is all of them. Which one's Michael? None anymore. Michael let himself into the home of Roy and Susan Antonick. Then he walked through the house out to the garage where Mr. Antonek was working. Blunt force, just like Kevin.
fairly soon after. He went upstairs where he found Timothy Antonick. He was found face down and his back was cut all the way down the middle and he was peeled open. And a part of his skull was missing. Some of it was removed, as well as his hands and his left leg. Mrs. Antonick. Emergency. Everything's fine. It's fine. He's since been decommissioned. We're still running a lot of similar script within our network now. It's a great program. Yes, Michael? Where am I? It is not important where you are. Have I failed? <laughs>